Hi, this is Barry here. So how do I build an audience for my affiliate marketing business? Now, this advice I'm about to give you is relevant to everyone because all of us are trying to build an audience. Doesn't matter if you're a blogger, podcast, or you know, TikTok or YouTube or whatever, you're trying to build an audience. So what I would say to this person if they are only new to affiliate marketing is to not push your products on your audience. I know what it's like when you've become an affiliate marketer and you find out, well, I'm going to get 25% commission on this $100 product or I'm going to make two or $300 if I can sell a copy, you know, a copy of this particular product or whatever. And sometimes the numbers do kind of mess with your head and you do sometimes push those products on a group of people hoping that some of them will buy you. But you know yourself, if someone tries to push a product on you, you always kind of back off and you're not interested in it. So that's the first thing I would say to this particular person is not to push your products on your audience. What you need to do first of all is put the products aside for a moment and whatever commissions you're going to make and solely focus on building your audience. You need to build some trust, some likability. You want your audience kind of leaning toward you, find trying to find out more information, how you can be helpful to them. And then when they're actually leaning toward you or coming to you, then I would drop in the products because that is when your audience is, you know, engaged with you and will listen to what you've got to say. And if you do mention a product that will change their life or their health or their business or whatever, they'll go on that recommendation because they like you, they trust you. So they will click on those links and then you'll make those commissions. But in the early days, you know, it's very easy to push your products on people and then wonder why no one's interested in buying your products. And it's because you don't, you haven't built any like, any trustability and you haven't built an audience yet. So the first thing I would recommend doing is something that we all need to do and that is to build an audience. And the first thing I would consider is if I'm looking to build an audience, what am I comfortable doing and what can I do consistently? You know, if maybe you haven't got a lot of time but you like going on Twitter, well then you can build an audience on Twitter. You know, tweet every so often, build an audience there, you know, do a search on hashtags, have a look and see if people are having problems. You know, be helpful to the people on Twitter, give them advice, give them recommendations. Don't mention your products just yet until you find those people start to follow you, start to build some like and trustability. Again, to maybe if you're happy doing maybe a podcast, record some podcast episode, give some valuable content away, build some like trustability and make the audience feel that you know what you're talking about. Again, sometimes when you do sign up as an affiliate, sometimes you could be talking to you could be talking about products that you don't really know much about. So I would do a little bit of homework just to find out, you know, what do I need to know about this particular market, this particular audience, what are the type of questions, the type of problems that they are having, and then base your content on that. Again, maybe if you'd rather do writing, you can do maybe something on Medium, you can do blogging, you can do maybe Facebook or something like that. But think about is there something I can do consistently? So it's going to take a while to build an audience. You're not going to wake up tomorrow and find 10,000 followers on Twitter or TikTok or whatever. It's going to be a long, drawn, slow net process. And if you were promised that you're going to make a fortune as an affiliate marker in the first couple of days, you were just told a lie. Because it does take time. It does take a while to build an audience, to build some trust, to build some likability. But that is what I would recommend all of us doing because that's why I'm recording these podcasts here and to do these videos and all those different things is to build some you know trust some likability put my face in these videos so you can see what I'm like and hopefully you know build a stronger connection between me and you and then if I mention maybe my own products or if I mention maybe affiliate products you might be inclined to listen to me because I've given you value already so you need to kind of build the fire before you actually light the flame before you ask for the commissions before you ask for you know people to buy those products off you you need to build the fire first so you need to start putting content out you still need to start to build some likability and trust and you need to do it consistently and do it consistently on a platform that you are comfortable doing you know if you don't like TikTok if everybody says well you should be in TikTok don't go to TikTok if it's not what you like. Go on to YouTube, go on to whatever kind of video platform or whatever written platform you're, you're happy going on. But that's what you need to do first of all. You need to build your audience on a platform that you like, something that you can do consistently and the content that you create. Make sure that it's content where you're educating your audience, where you are answering questions, where you're building some trust and some likability 
and then at a later point when they follow you, when they ask you for recommendations, then you can step in, then you can mention the products and then you will find that you'll make far, far more money because you have an audience who follow you and who trust you on the recommendations you give rather than a newcomer come along saying buy this product now when they don't know who you are because they're not going to do that. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.